All right, I'm on hole number seven of the 2019 Fall Major. Let's go to Golf Clash Notebook and check out hole number seven. I think this is that big old par three. All right. Backspin is the order of the day here. I'm not sure if I'm not sure from the rookie tees if I'm hitting this with my Saturn or if I'm hitting this with my wood or my long iron or my wood. I like to come at this from this side, not from this side. And the reason I don't like to come at it from this, this side right here, there's several reasons. This side right here looks like this. So where this landing spot is, is that you're on the side of this hill. And you're trying to bring the ball around this way. So this sand's in play. And this is a very difficult wind adjustment. So if the wind's blowing in this direction, in order, like if we do our normal, uh, where we address the ball from this side and then we pull that wind out, you know how it works if you do wind ring adjustments. When you're trying, when you're uphill and you're trying to pull that up, it, it can be very difficult to get in the right spot so that you can see where you're doing. And it's not, and this is a shot that you want to make sure that you do your wind rings right because you have all the sand in play. If the wind's blowing from this direction, you're going to have a hard time addressing the ball from this side because of these trees. And so it can be a very difficult to get down in here to do wind adjustments. It's a little bit easier from this side over here. The thing I like about this side over here is that there's no traps in play. You get over here, you get up on the green. Now you don't want to be down here on the green because this is an impossible putt. So you need to stay up high and the green runs downhill. So it's a very difficult, this is, this is one of the, this is a super low percentage hole in one shot. And with my normal account, I do play this with backspin, whether it be a wood or a long iron. I like to come at it from this area over here where my ball guide, literally, if I move it any more to the right, it'll clip this tree. And what I like to do is come in here, we pan back a little bit. My ball guide is going to be running like this. And then I want to put on some curl so that I'm coming at the hole like this. So these trees, even though I'm, when I set my ball guide up, I'm right up against that tree where it's, if I move it anywhere to the right, it'll clip that tree. Those, these trees are not in a play because I'm going to put that curl on it and it's going to walk right around those. But when you're up in this area, you do need some kind of backspin in order to stop the ball. And my choices for backspin and long iron, or excuse me, and wood, are <sighs> not good. So here are my wood clubs, and that's the only club that's got any backspin on it. And it has 1.9 ball guide. There's a word for that. It's like it blows. So those are my two options for backspin clubs. In my main account, I'm using a quasar on this hole because I'm looking for that side spin. I'm not sure if that ball will cover it here, and if it doesn't, I'm going to bring a katana. All right, let's see if we can come out here and figure out how to get a birdie. I think in my main account, I've gotten a hole in one on this hole, I think. This is not a high percentage hole in one type hole. I have no idea. I'm going to put my white ring up against the transition out there so that I have some kind of a reference point. My guardian is hitting one, six. There's three, two. I'm going to do a little bit of an over pull here. I have zero curl on that club. Just try and roll it up there. Ah, oh, it would have been nice if I could have got just a little more. It would have rolled down that hill, but that is fine. <laughs> that right there is a pretty much a zero risk shot. I don't, I'm going to have to go back and look at that. I probably should bring a one power ball so it gives me a little bit more room to work out the wind. If I go forward anymore so that I can work the wind out, 
Um, because I have such a limited ball guide, I really can't see where I'm going. I'd really like to be a little bit lower down in here. So the way I'm going to achieve that is by bringing a, I'll bring a Marlin. Getting that Guardian, I got that Guardian in one of the Golden Shot bags. And that's uh, for a low level account like this, just having an, a wood that's got some backspin, that's a, that's big. And the other way I could do that. The other way I could do that is I could bring a Titan and that would push me more up into my Saturn ring. So where my red line was out with a one power ball, if I brought a two, a three power ball, I could push that, that red line would go forward and it would put me in my Saturn range and I have a lot better options with my Saturn as far as ball guide and control over the ball. So I think that's probably what I'm going to do on that hole is I'm going to bring a three power ball so that I can use my Saturn instead of a one power ball where I use my guardian because my guardian, you can see how much curl I had on there. I've got limited ball guide. Um, you can get up there and stick it so that you can make that putt. But that right there was not a fun putt. Part of the reason is because you can't see where the where that ball guide's engaging it. You can see that it's glowing blue, but you don't know if you're on the backside of the cup or if you're on what part of the cup you're on. So it would be nicer to be on the same level as the cup. All right, just shooting the minimum score here. Picked up one, picked up a hole number five. So we're on track for just a nice clean round. All right, that was hole number seven of the 2019 Fall Major. Thanks for watching.